blank. Now, parents may be thinking now more than ever about the issue of bullying and what they can do to protect their kids. It is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and bullying can be categorized as domestic violence. And here to tell us how to protect ourselves and our kids is Jim Clark, licensed social worker and the CEO of Daniel. Good morning. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. You know, what's so happened to Rebecca is so sad. And yeah. a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the issue of bullying and some of its effects. And so it's really important for parents to get involved, to understand, I don't want to just be a good friend. I want to be a good parent to my child. I imagine some parents don't realize how, how deep that wound really, really is. I mean, this is, this is really, you know, terrible. We know, research shows that children who bully uh, by uh, something like 40 percent of those by the age of 24 have been involved in some kind of criminal activity. So you only not want to help train your child now. You want to be able to do those things so that they don't get in trouble in the future. And if your child is being bullied, there are certainly certain things you can do. And since we're talking about th um, domestic violence, people need to know when you are being bullied or you have some kind of domestic thing, seek help. Talk to somebody. Uh, if there's physical stuff involved, of course, do 911. We have a great program here in Duval County called Hubbard House, or you can call 211. From a domestic violence standpoint, those are two places that you can go and get some services. It, it seems as if from this case with Re Rebecca that no one really knew how bad it was. And yes. like, how, how can you, as a parent or, or a teacher, administrator, r you know, realize that your child is... Is, is being bullied. Well, one of the things, if your child's starting to get into trouble, if you see them using names a lot to talk to their, uh, calling kids names, uh, kind of taking that superior attitude, if they're getting in trouble under detention, those are things that you might want to really pay attention to and talk to your school counselor about. We know that children who tend to bully don't have a good self-image about themselves. So, of course, we always want to make sure. But the best thing to do is monitor your child's behavior. You've got to know about what the current trends is. Be involved. I would not have any child have an account with Facebook or Twitter and not know those passwords. Because, and you need to tell your child, I'm going to monitor your behavior. The most important thing is to understand it's for a lifetime. If a child puts something on their on that website or if they put something on Twitter, it will be there forever, regardless if they take it off. And employers now in colleges, one of the things that they do is check kids' Twitter accounts, check their Facebook, what kind of pictures, what is the character of that infant individual? And if your child is a bully, uh, if you think that they, they are uh, hurting other children, there needs to be consequences uh, of some sort, and you got to develop those empathy skills in them. How would you feel if someone did that? And demonstrate those type of things to your youngster. And there's so many resources now in schools, like uh, you know, there are programs designed to identify uh, kids who who are being bullied. Absolutely. Um, I mean, these are are working. I mean, obviously, we've taken a stance. Uh, the country has on bullying. It's become a real hot topic over the years. You think we're making strides? Oh, we are making strides because, as you identified, there are more resources. You can go to our website and we've got several resources that parents can go to and of course the school system has an anti-bullying process. You can always call that number and make a complaint and they have to investigate it. But go to our website and you'll find some great information there. And before, before we go, about 15 seconds left, what else is going on with Domestic uh, Violence Month? Well, it's really important for everybody to know it is a serious issue. Yeah. We have had several deaths in our, our county. And so one of the things in our area, actually, and one of the things that you need to know is you can call 911. Hubbard House is out there for resources. And if you don't know anything else to do, call 211 and tell them the problem you have, and they'll give you some information. All right, great. Thank you so much for the information. We appreciate you joining us. For more info on domestic violence, log on to uh, danielkids.org or go to our website at newsforjacks.com.